given the vector field f defined by the components y, negative z, x, find the circulation around the tilted ellipse parameterized by vector r of t, defined by the components sine of t, cos of t, sine of t, such that t is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 2 pi. So again, let's just recall here that the circulation is again simply a vector line integral with a tangential component, but that the requirement here is that our curve C must be closed. So the start and terminal point have to be the same. So we defined circulation as the vector line integral with a tangential component. So vector F dotted with the unit tangent vector ds, and then converting this to an arbitrary parameter, the integral from A to B, the vector field dotted with the tangent vector dt, and so again here the requirement with our circulation integral is that the curve must be closed. And again we luck out here, we're given the parameterization for C. So we have, again, what is given to us is our parameterization of the tilted ellipse, x of t, y of t, z of t, is defined by the components sine of t, cosine of t, sine of t, for the closed interval 0 to 2 pi. So we can now use this to find the tangent vector. So r prime of t is going to be equal to cosine of t, negative sine of d, cosine of t. And we'll also use our parameterization of this tilted ellipse to rewrite our function. Our vector field here is defined by the components y minus z x, and we're rewriting it in terms of t. So we can say that our vector field f is equal to, and again keep in mind that we have this is our x component, our y component, and our z component. So the first one we need is y. So this will be cosine of t. We now need a minus z, so this is going to be minus sine of t. And then last but not least, we have x, so we have another sine of t. So to set up that circulation integral, we now need to take the dot product of our tangent vector and our parameterized force field. or vector field. So we want to compute the dot product. So we have the vector field f dotted with the tangent vector. So this is cosine of t minus sine of t sine of t Ooh, running out of room and that's dotted with cosine of t minus sine of t, cosine of t, and applying the dot product, this becomes cosine times cosine, so cosine squared of t, plus minus sine of t times minus sine of t for plus sine of t squared, plus sine of t times cosine of t, so plus sine of t, multiplied by cosine of t, and we're excited because we see Pythagorean's theorem here. So we can simplify that to 1 plus sine of t cosine of t.
And so we're ready now to go ahead and set up the line integral and evaluate. So our line integral for circulation is equal to the integral from A to B of the vector field dotted with the tangent vector dt. And so we have the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 plus sine of t cosine of t dt. And now I don't want to use u substitution. If we can find an easier way using an identity, let's definitely try to do that. So looking at this, we think or we recall the double angle formula. And we know that the double angle formula is defined as sine of 2t being equal to 2 times sine of t cosine of t. So if we simply divide both sides here by 2, we have sine of 2t divided by 2 equals sine of t cosine of t, which is exactly what we wanted. So we can now rewrite the integral using this identity and avoid u substitution altogether, although it does work as well. So we have the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 plus sine of 2t divided by 2 dt, and these are general antiderivatives. This becomes the integral t minus cosine of 2t divided by 4 from 0 to 2 pi, and we are ready to evaluate. So we have 2 pi minus cosine of 4 pi divided by 4 minus 0 minus cosine of 0 divided by 4. So see, we know that cosine of 4 pi goes to 1. Cosine of 0 also goes to 1. So we have 2 pi minus 1 fourth minus a minus 1 fourth. So you have the two negatives becoming positive. So you have minus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth of those guys combined to 0, leaving us with a beautiful final answer of 2 pi. This is the circulation around our tilted ellipse. Thanks for watching.